Well, today we have some air cannons, starting from the left, the solenoid valve cannon, the piston valve cannon, then the spool valve cannon, some spare barrels, and last but not least, the big one-inch ball valve cannon. So let's have a little fun today. Today we have different and varied ammo, including wax slugs for the 25mm barrel, lead slugs in 25mm, 812 caliber, 750 caliber, 565 caliber, and 410 caliber. We have Daisy Steel Slingshot BBs, quarter inch diameter. We have some dead compact fluorescent bulbs, glue stick, air freshener, glass marbles, stink bombs, ferrite magnets, a dice, some small light bulbs, Various odds and ends are going to get fired at various targets. Today we have some targets. The slow motion camera on the left is most definitely not a target, but the dead cannon printer in the middle of the screen is a target, totally electrically burned out and useless. The tin on top of it is filled with muddy earth from the parking lot. There's a couple of two-liter orange crush bottles, uh, some kind of mouthwash bottle. There's a dead LCD monitor that I saw in a ditch when I was driving down one of the local roads, so I grabbed it as a target. And at the back there, that little rectangular black box standing on end is an ancient TV tuner box that probably dates back to the 70s and it's completely useless these days. So let's have some fun. We'll start with the solenoid valve cannon, 6mm breech loading barrel for Daisy steel slingshot BBs. Target is that obsolete set top TV box of some sort. Oh, that's taken some abuse. The 6mm BBs from the solenoid valve cannon messed up that set-top TV box, but of course they're not strong enough to penetrate through it, so we're going to switch to something else and continue. This is the spool valve cannon. It has the 750 caliber barrel on it. 
and I'll be firing lead slugs at 300 PSI. Hopefully I'll be able to hit that little set-top TV box at 10 meters. This will be the spool valve cannon, 750 caliber barrel at 300 PSI. I think we damaged it. This will be the spool valve cannon again, caliber 750 lead slug, 300 psi. Hopefully we damaged it. Wow, that 750 caliber slug went clean through it. Perfect. Again with the spool valve cannon, caliber 750, hard alloy cast lead slug, I will fire at 300 PSI. Yeah, hit something again. This will be with the spool valve cannon again, but I've switched to the 72 inch caliber 812 barrel, 1100 grain, hard alloy lead slug, firing at 300 PSI. I think I might have hit that. Again, the spool valve cannon, caliber 812, 1100 grain, hard cast lead slug, firing at 300 psi. Ah, oh, seems I hit something again. One of these big slugs are pulverizing the wood part of the backstop, but of course I've got multiple one-inch thick steel plates backing things up for safety. As far as that set-top box goes, well, just doesn't seem to be a lot left of it after those big slugs started hitting it. I think it's time for a new target. Still with the spool valve cannon, caliber 812, 1100 grain, hard cast alloy, lead slug, firing at 300 psi. Target is now a nasty tin filled with the uh, wet dirt and gravel from the parking lot. Actually fired at 350 psi there, and it looks like I made a mess.